Okay, so where we left off at the last video, we were solving for the F. We were about to move friction over, so it becomes positive. FFR. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and FFR is really mu FN. So F will equal MAX plus mu FN. And a few minutes ago, we found that FN was mg. So you can just fill that right in here. So f is equal to max plus mu mg. I know that a lot of you already found that number, you already found fn, but just try doing it all with letters until you get to the end and just see how much simpler it is. Okay? So pardon me, now we're going to fill in our numbers. So m was 80 kilograms, I think. Yeah, 80 kilograms. And A was 2.5 meters per second squared plus the coefficient of friction, which was 0.4 times 80 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared. Okay? And then when you do all that, you should get an F of 513.92 newtons. Okay? Number three. Number four. Number four says a crate is being accelerated along a horizontal surface at a rate of two meters per second squared by a force of 200 newtons applied parallel to the surface. So there we have it. Friction is acting backwards. Fn and Fg are opposite each other. Coefficient of friction is 0.2. What's the mass of the crate? So, just like we started all the other ones, we're going to do some of the forces in the y direction. The crate is not moving in the y direction, so AY goes to zero. That means FN minus FG equals zero. It means FN equals FG equals MG. And even if you wanted to this time, you can't get a value here because we don't know M. That's what we're looking for. So now we go some of the forces in the x direction. And in the x direction, we have the force of 200 newtons going one way, which I usually just call F. I know Mr. Smith called it FA. I usually just call it F. You can call it whichever you want. Minus friction is equal to MAX. And friction, we know, is mu FN equal to MAX. And FN, we know, is mu uh, is MG. Okay, and we're trying to solve for M this time. So I need to take this mu mg over, so it'll be f is equal to max plus mu mg. And now I need to get the m alone, so we do that little trick that you learned in grade 11 that we used on the math review sheet already, factor the m out, ax plus mu g. Get the m alone, divide both sides by the bracket. So f over ax plus mu g and now fill in our values. So F was 200 newtons. The acceleration, sorry, was 2 meters per second squared. The mu was 0.2, I must have had a thing for twos in this question, times 9.81 meters per second squared. So it's going to be 200 newtons over, what is that, 0.2, one-fifth, divided by 9 and you get an M of 50.48 or something very close to that kilograms okay so there are the first four which were the homework over the weekend then last night I asked you to do five to eight so number five says coefficient of kinetic friction between the 35 kilogram crate is 0.3 what is the horizontal force required to move the crate at a steady speed? When it says a steady speed, it means AX is zero. Okay? So again, if you do some of the forces in the Y direction to start with, it's not moving in the Y. So FN minus FG should equal zero. So FN should equal FG should equal MG. You can find the value, but eh, who wants to? Then do some of the forces in the x direction. And for A, 
it says steady speed, so AX is zero. And so we have F minus friction is equal to zero, which means F is equal to friction. And we know friction is equal to mu Fn. And we know Fn is equal to mg. So for A, F is just equal to mu was 0.3. M was 85? 35. 35 kilograms. And G, 9.81 meters per second squared. And so F will end up equaling whatever you get when you do 0.3 times 35 times 9.81. And you should get 103.005. 103.005. One o three point zero zero five newtons. That's for part A. For part B, it now wants to know. I think there's a part B. Ah, oh, no, it's the next one. Oh, yes, there is part B. What is the horizontal force required if you want the object to accelerate at a rate of point of two point five? meters per second squared. So for this one, we don't have to do the sum of the forces in the y over again. It's the same thing. Sum of the forces in the x, it's going to be F minus friction is equal to max. And this time we're looking for F, so max plus an FFR we figured out over here was mu mg. So this time it's 35 kilograms times, and you want it to accelerate at a rate of 2.5 meters per second squared, plus the 0.3 times the 35 kilograms times 9.81, that's the 103. Uh, so 35 times 2.5, and then you're going to add it to the 103, and you should get 190.505 newtons. Okay, so that's number five. Number six, a force of 40 newtons is required to start a five kilogram object moving across a horizontal surface. To start, when it says to start, it means the acceleration is still zero there. Okay, um, what is the coefficient of static friction? So again, if you do some of the forces in the y direction, it's going to be zero, and you should get what we've gotten up there because nothing has changed. Fn equals Fg equals Mg. Now if we do some of the forces in the x direction for part A, because it says to start it moving, this goes to zero, so it means F minus friction equals zero. So F equals friction, equals mu Fn. What is the coefficient of static friction? And Fn is equal to mg. And we're looking for mu. So continuing up here, it would be mu was equal to F divided by Fn, or F divided by mg. So mu is equal to 40 newtons divided by five kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared. So 40 over 49.05, and that should give you 0 0.8155. So that's part A. Part B says that the 40 Newton force continues and the box accelerates, so now the box is moving. And it's moving, accelerating at a rate of 0 0.7 meters per second squared. What's the coefficient of kinetic friction? So for B then, we don't have to do some of the forces in the Y because it's still the same. So some of the forces in the X is equal to MAX and it'll be F minus friction is equal to MAX and this time that's not zero. So F minus mu MG because that's what FN is, uh, is equal to MAX and this time we're solving for mu. So take the mu mg over, bring the max over. So f minus max equals mu mg. So mu will equal f minus max over mg. So the f was 40 newtons.